We began the project by creating some conceptual mass models of the three different proposals that I'd identified. You could do this in either Revit Architecture or in Vasari, which is from the Autodesk Labs, it's, and it's a subset of, of uh, Revit Architecture. So the idea was that I wanted to get some square footage and some data uh, immediately from the mass models that would let me see how they had changed. The first model was that of uh, Neil Schweitzer. The second model was that of Jack Howe. And the third model was primarily that of John W. Geiger. Uh, that's really the finished design. So if I look at those, if I look at the first one, the color coding is that green is really the public areas, uh, entertainment like music, uh, dining, uh, gardening, or within the house. Uh, the the red area is the a red zone is the hearth at the centre of the house, big big focal point in the garden room. The orange area is the workspace for food preparation, um, and the blue area are the private areas like the bedrooms and storage areas. And you see, this is the first model. So you see that. As they move to the second model, the house gets larger. We go back to the first and go to the second again, you'll see the change. And this is primarily uh, on, on advocacy from uh, Mrs. Zimmerman that uh, she needs more space to work in the, in the kitchen workspace area. The third model is bigger again. And again, this is uh, now John Geiger advocating for the Zimmermans and saying they need more light in the in the workspace area, need more storage, and uh, work, working with uh, those kind of goals to, to increase the size of the house. So what I, what I want to do is I'll show some movies on how I actually created the house and how I got the data. <laughs> 